Is it time for you to sell that NEO stock yet? Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and hey, we're doing a little bit of a semi-update on my stock portfolio, and well, particularly one stock I have in particular that has been a little ups and downsy. So, one of the stocks I have that has been like a real winner has been NEO. Now, you might notice here it says there's a loss of $226.63. Well, the thing is, I bought this stock like not here exactly i would say about here and i sold a bunch of shares here then the stock went down a little bit i bought again here then it went up and now it's down here again now why is neo which has done by all accounts very well in the last year heck even just the last three months it's been doing extremely well well neo is an electric company that an electric vehicle company, I should say, that's dedicated to, uh, well, let's see the about. Um, Neo Inc. American Depository Shares, each representing one Class A ordinary share, also called Neo, is a holding company which engages in the design, manufacture, and sale of electric vehicles, driving innovations in next generation technologies, in connectivity, autonomous driving, and artificial intelligence. You might notice CEO is Bin Lee. This is a, and the headquarters is in Jading, Shanghai. This is a Chinese-owned company. And the reason that is important is because today the House of Representatives actually made a huge step in fulfilling President Donald Trump's vision to remove the Chinese from the American economy by passing unanimously a bill that will find Chinese companies delisted from the stock market. What does that mean for Neo, Li Auto, and Xping stock, which have all been doing extraordinarily well. If you had bought any of these stocks a few months ago, you're much richer now. Anyway, let's look at this. From Barron's, the House of Representatives on Wednesday unanimously passed a bill that sets the stage for delisting Chinese companies on U.S. exchanges, including electric vehicle makers such as Neo, Xping, and Li Auto. The companies have to comply with U.S. audit oversight rules within a three-year window. The stocks are reacting in after-hours trading, trading lower, but the muted reaction seems to indicate investors expect things to work out over time. NEO stock is down about 2.8% in after-hours trading, XPing shares are down about 3 and Li Auto shares are down about 0.7. Representatives from all three Chinese EV makers weren't immediately available for comment. Now, here's the thing. This isn't just these three stocks that are affected. We're also talking about like JD.com, Alibaba, basically any company that is primarily a Chinese-based company that does do some business in the U.S. and has stock available on the U.S. stock market. This is who this bill will affect. So the bill is expected to be signed into law by President Donald Trump. And that will probably, if we're being perfectly honest with ourselves, probably the last major thing he will do as our president that we're probably going to notice and you know that's that's a good note to leave on because i i do think the chinese um industry in general general needs to be held more accountable it is not a fair trade business deal we have where they are allowed to flood our market with their goods and their companies and yet we cannot do the same over there so you know i'm, I'm throwing that opinion out there make of it what you will now um, Lee Auto's uh, prospectus illustrates the issue for in talking about the House passing this bill. The audit report included in this prospectus is prepared by an auditor who was not inspected by the PCAOB, and as such, our investors are deprived of the benefits of such inspection. The PCAOB is the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. In addition, the adoption of any rules, legislations, or other efforts to increase U.S. regulatory access to audit information could cause uncertainty and we could be delisted if we are unable to meet the PCAOB inspection requirements in time. Similar language is a part of XPings and NEO Securities and Exchange Commission filings. The situation is a little more significant for the Chinese EV players because they only 
have a U.S. stock listing, which is, I find is interesting. Other Chinese companies are listed in multiple jurisdictions. Still, all three have time to comply. Most of the research analysts covering the three stocks are based in Hong Kong or China and haven't been writing about the issue yet. Investors should expect updates in coming days. Uh, Chinese EV stocks have been investor favorites so far in 2020. The three stocks are up 133% on average over the past three months, crushing comparable returns of the SP, S&P 500 and Dow Jones industrial average because ev vehicles is very popular right now i mean that's why tesla is doing so well and if these three get delisted then tesla will be having a very good day on the stock market at least in america but what can investors particularly Robinhood investors expect from this should they just get rid of their neo and lee auto and x paying stock well let me tell you right now what i'm about to say is my own opinion but you should not take it as financial advice as always, my opinion, I'm a jackass on YouTube, consult with a financial advisor if you do not know where to go from here. But as far as I am aware and how, what this means is, first of all, this bill has to be signed by President Donald Trump, and he likely will sign it. Once he signs it, then it will become law. But there is a transition period, and it seems like the transition period is three years, so it will take up to three years for the stock to either A, be delisted, or B, three years for the companies to comply with the components of the bill, and they may not get delisted at all. For the time being, these three stocks seem to be very strong. Doesn't mean they will be forever. Doesn't even mean they're going to be for the short term. I mean, if you want to look at my NEO stock today, let's go back to the NEO stock. Uh, this is NEO in three months, but if you look at the day, it actually started out... Um, at $38.88, and it ended at $46. You do one week, you can see it's definitely been a little volatile, but over the month, and actually over the last three months, especially over the last year, you can see it's definitely trending upwards, and it seems like it's already bouncing back a little bit. So who knows what how this news will affect it tomorrow. So far, NEO still seems to be a strong buy, but you know, it's definitely showing some weaknesses now. So, again, if you're not sure where to go from here, talk to a financial advisor. But here's another thing to keep in mind. Something that has been brought up in this comparison is Brexit. Because Brexit was voted on about three years ago. And, well, it still hasn't quite happened yet. It's getting a lot closer, but these things do take time. These are big ships. And like the Titanic, they don't turn on a dime. You need to have plenty of advance notice for the thing to turn and not strike an iceberg. So I don't think these particular stocks are going to be delisted anytime soon. They still appear to be pretty strong for the most part. And, you know, again, it is up to you whether or not you think you want to invest in them. They probably will... There is a danger, though, that should be noted that they will be delisted and, you know, you're just going to have to wait and see on that one. So now with that out of the way, let's do the extra side topic real quick of looking at my portfolio. We are, believe it or not, about three months away from this experiment being over of when I pretty much said on an average month, I'm going to put $100 a week into Robinhood, my stock. And this is where it is today. As you can see, the last... Today was very volatile, uh, definitely down a little bit from, you know, the week. I think from the week, it's down $574. The month has mostly grown, though. Now, the year, which, again, this is where we pretty much, well, maybe not here. Maybe about here is where we started this experiment. As you can see, there's been some downs, but it's been growing up. There was a huge dip here. Everybody lost a lot of money that day, but as you can see, it has come back quite a bit. Some of my stocks that are doing very well include Fife, Pfeiffer, who, by the way, have just gotten U.S., not U.S., U.K. approval for their coronavirus vaccination, so that will probably continue to go up. Uh, Apple's been a little bit of a disappointment, but, you know, Microsoft has gone up, Tesla has definitely gone up, and it's split. Uh, Neo has done very well for the most part. Plug uh, is doing very well. AT&T, not moving that much, but 
I don't think they're going to go away. And you know, personal opinion, again, not financial advice. I think at $30, that's that's woefully undervalued. I'm going to get a lot more t of AT&T before this is all said and done. Comcast hasn't moved much, but it's consistent. Uh, Nicola has so far been the loser for me. If you want to know, Nicola, I am so far down $935.20. Now, I'm not selling the stock yet. It could still turn around, but if anything's going to be a wipeout, it's probably going to be that one. Disney is up. Coca-Cola has been consistent. Uh, Sony is actually w way up. I have gained, uh, well, maybe not way up, but I've gained almost $70. My average price was $78.65, and I have five shares. It was just kind of a fun stock I bought. It ends up that did pretty well. Uh, Papa John's has been a mixed blessing. Um, it has it is total down seven dollars and fourteen cents. But the thing is, I bought a few shares before it hit a hundred dollars, and then I bought a couple shares after it hit a hundred dollars. So as you can see from this, Papa John's definitely has been a little up and down. So you know, but that's kind of a vanity stock too. AMC has been a winner and a loser. There's been days it's gone way up and days it's gone way down. Um, if this thing just gets to $10, I'll make a lot of money, but IMAX has been doing very well. Nokia has done a little better. Ovid, this was another loser, and this one I'm definitely a little pissed about. This is how quickly things can change. This thing was going, um, uh, let's do the month thing. It was going up, 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 up. It was finally about to pass this threshold where it would have been, um, profitable because I bought at $6.79 a share, uh, for 30 shares, and then one day it just dips, and now it's lost $114, $110 in one day. This thing lost more than half of its value. So, you know, that that's how fragile it can be. Um, this is why you want to consult with your own financial advisor. Six Flags is up. Uh, Cinemark, really good. American Airlines, not terrible. GE, it's up. It's not great, but it's up. This has been a loser. Thankfully, I only bought two shares and I've only lost $20 on it. Uh, this company has been a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, a month, it's this is a fairly new company. It was really hot. It was pretty high a few days ago. So far, I've gotten more than $10 back. So, you know, um, not terrible, but I, it could be more. Um, now, this VTRS, they are doing this in... This is like a joint venture with Pfeiffer. They're going to be going in with them on the vaccination. And so I actually got one stock for free, and then I bought 10 more. And I'm I'm in the, the black. If I sold today, I'd make money, but I think it'll go a little higher. Who knows? This IDEX thing, this is kind of my one of my risk um, stocks. And then we finally have Hertz, which I did rebuy some Hertz when it got pretty cheap. I'm down about $17, and now I cannot buy any more. I can sell it, but I can't buy it. Now, you know, we do have, and then we have the Bitcoins. Uh, even my douge is up. My douge is is up. Um, so far, just down about four dollars. Not a big deal. This was kind of a fun one. I I have how many shares do I have? Six thousand nine hundred eighteen. You know what? Just how much would one dollar get me? One dollar would get me that many shares. How much would thirty five cents? Oh, what about thirty cents? Hmm, eighty eighty eight. You know what? Let's just let's just uh by 30 cents um an even e you know just an even 7,000 shares done and does it go up it should go go up uh well let's go back go down to uh douche hmm didn't really do anything Let's let's see here. Do no no no. I do not want thirty dollars. I don't want thirty cents. So there now I have over seven thousand shares. So uh, just just for kicks and giggle giggles, I suppose. So anyway, that's how my stock market is doing. We have I have gained two thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars and eighteen cents on paper. This does not include the stocks that I sold for a profit or the stocks I sold at a loss. We will calculate all that at the end of this experiment. But as you can see, that's quite a healthy return on investment. Anyway, so I wanted to share that news. wanted to give you the stock portfolio update. And now I pass the question on to you. Uh, what do you uh, think about this news? Are you going to hold on to your Chinese 
company stocks? Do you even have them or are you going to get rid of them? What are you going to do? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Merry Christmas.